One person can make a world of difference for a special cat or dog out there just by opening their home and sharing a little love. Though with an overpopulation of animals in Abilene right now, the Abilene Animal Shelter is asking people to open their homes temporarily as a foster family. This would help these pets through a difficult time while they hope for their forever home. Whether they're playful, curious, or just plain cute, we love our pets and they love us back. But no matter how much love they have to give, not all animals know the joy of being a pet. We are doing everything that we can. We are overpopulated in Abilene. Abilene All Kind Animal Shelter Executive Director Molly Mosier says her staff has no lack of room in their hearts. But when it comes to kennel space, there's just not enough to go around. We need um, fosters to step up. Even if every staff member here fostered, it wouldn't be enough. It's something that we need to get the entire community in on. Volunteer dog foster coordinator Brett Silverman has fostered many dogs himself. When fostering an animal, you're not just helping that one animal, you're actually freeing up the kennel for another animal. So that creates a lot of space as well as when you foster an animal, you really get to know that animal's personality. Whether for a few days or a few months, fostering opens up space at the shelter and gives potential adopters an idea for how their pet will act in a non-shelter environment. Not every dog shows well in their kennel. If you take an animal out of the shelter, it can lower their stress levels by 50% in just the first 24 hours. Chiquita here was fostered for a few months before being found by Heather Hamner. She's still shaking. She's been in foster care and there was a lot of loud dogs in there and it was a little scary for her. And while the shelter is far better than the streets, Chiquita is happy to find herself in a loving pair of arms. It just feels amazing getting some dogs off of our urgent list and out to good, happy homes. Because the difference between a frightened face and a frolicking friend is often just one person willing to take a chance. And she's snuggling up, so maybe she's starting to get comfy. <laughs> For BigCountryHomePage.com, with my recently adopted friend Felix, I'm Noah McKinney. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Thank you, Noah. The shelter does provide all food and amenities needed to foster. Those interested in fostering, adopting, or even just donating their time can get involved in the solution through the links on our website, BigCountryHomePage.com.